Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of a plus 20 times b plus 20 times c plus 20. Given that a plus 1 times b plus 1 times c plus 1 equals 3, a plus 2 times b plus 2 times c plus 2 equals negative 2, and a plus 3 times b plus 3 times c plus 3 equals negative 1, wherein a, b, and c are all real numbers. Now, if you want to try this question, you can pause this video anytime you want, so you can try it first. And if you get the answer, please consider this suggested solution. Here it is. So one way to answer this question is, of course, get the first equation and let's multiply the left hand side and let's see what we got. Now, a plus 1 times b plus 1, this will give us a times b plus 1 plus 1 times b plus 1. I will use chunk multiplication here. Now, distribute this a, this will give us ab plus a. And distribute this one, this is just b plus 1. Now again, I will use chunk multiplication. So the left hand side can be written as ab times c plus 1 plus a times c plus 1 plus b times c plus 1 plus 1 times c plus 1. Now distribute this ab. Distribute this a. Distribute this b. And distribute this 1. Now let's subtract 1 on both sides. So the right hand side becomes 2. And now let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So we have ABC plus AB plus AC plus BC plus A plus B plus C. Now let's group this AB plus AC plus BC. And also let's group this A plus B plus C for a purpose. So later we can see the purpose of this one. Now let's set aside this result and let's get the second equation. Now, if we multiply the left-hand side, we can see a pattern. Now, if we multiply this, we get this one. So, ABC plus 2 times AB plus AC plus BC plus 4 times A plus B plus C plus a constant of 8. Now, notice that we have 2, 2 squared or 4, and 2 cubed or simply 8. Now, let's simplify. Let's subtract 8 on both sides. So, this will give us negative 10 on the right hand side now let's get the third equation and using the pattern a while ago so a b plus a c plus b c we multiply this by 3 and a plus b plus c we multiply it by 3 squared or simply 9 and we have a constant which is 3 cubed or simply 27 now let's simplify this by subtracting 27 on both sides so this will give us negative 28 on the right hand side. Now, using the pattern that we have, our expression that we want to find must be equivalent to ABC times 20 times AB plus AC plus BC plus 20 squared times A plus B plus C plus 20 cubed. So now, our goal now here is to solve for the value of ABC, AB plus AC plus BC and the value of A plus B plus C. Now, to do that, let's simplify our equations by introducing another variable r, which is equivalent to a times b times c. Therefore, all of this expression a times b times c becomes r. Now, another variable, let's call this as s, and it is equivalent to ab plus ac plus bc. Therefore, those expressions can be replaced with the variable s. And let's have another variable, let's call this as t, and it is equivalent to a plus b plus c. So all of this expression becomes t. Now, we have the simplest form of our equations a while ago. Now, we will use elimination method to solve for the value of r, value of s, and value of t. So let's do that. Let's get first, use the first and second equation. What we're going to do is to eliminate the variable r. This is easy to do. If we subtract the first equation to the second equation, we get s plus 3t equals negative 12. Now, 
if we subtract the second equation to the third equation, we get s plus 5t equals negative 18. And if we subtract this equation to the second result, this will give us 2t equals negative 6. So s minus s cancel out. 5t minus 3t will give us 2t. Negative 18 minus negative 12 will give us negative 6. Now, to solve for the value of t, let's divide both sides by 2. So we have negative 6 over 2 or simply negative 3. So we have the value of t which is negative 3. Now, in order to get the value of s, what we're going to do is to replace the variable t with its value negative 3 in either of these two equations and get the result that s must be equal to also negative 3. Now, to solve for the value of r, what we're going to do is to replace the value of s, the value of t in either of these three equations and get the same result. And if we do that, we get the value of r must be equal to 8. Therefore, we have now the value of r, s, and t. r equals 8, s equals negative 3, and t equals negative 3. Now, we are now ready to find the value of this expression r plus 20s plus 20 squared t plus 20 cube. r is 8, s is negative 3, and t is negative 3. Now, using our calculator, 8 plus 20 times negative 3 plus 20 squared times negative 3 plus 20 cube, this will give us a value of 6,748. And this is also the value of a plus 20 times b plus 20 times c plus 20. And our answer to this question is 6,748. And as always, we are done.